Hello, Taurus. How are we doing? This is your weekly reading for the... I'm kind of being leery about giving dates. Um, I want to say timeless weekly reading, but I know people really want dates. All right, so it's from August 12th to August 18th for that week. But if you're seeing this before... Well, you can't see this before, but if you're seeing this after significantly but the title resonates with you there's a message here for you obviously you've clicked the video um so yeah just take things as they resonate my name's tori franco this is my podcast channel my podcast is really about self-development that's basically what it's turned into um and so are these readings i try to you know be encouraging while giving advice and calling people out on their dumb shit Taurus, y'all's energy has been litty, uh, to say the least, the past, the past, like, month. So, hopefully we, we've calmed a little bit down, but we'll see. If you're interested in anything I have to offer, anything at all, everything is linked in the description below. My email list, where I give tips and stuff about, um, meditation, self-love, all of that stuff. Personal readings that I give on Etsy, becoming a patron, uh, merch, actually, this shirt that I'm wearing right now, uh, it's from my merch, um, all of that, you can hit my website, um, everything's in the description below, so, if you want to know what tarot decks I use the most, those are linked in the description below, anywho, let's see what we got for the Tauruses, uh, oh my god, y'all been... Y'all stay giving me back aches, but let's see. Let's see what's what's going on. I'm still, uh, I'm feeling like the energy hasn't changed, but we'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not me speaking too soon. Um. Wow. Are y'all clearer of mind? This King of Cups has been haunting y'all. It's in reverse um, at the bottom of the deck. That is you still kind of being um, emotionally withdrawn. I don't know if you all owe somebody an apology with this page of cups here, or you're just taking things slow with somebody, um, or you're just learning to kind of go slower, slow and steady, I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles is finally upright. This is your energy. This is Earth energy, Taurus. Um... Well, really, you guys are like the king of pentacles. But either way, pentacles are earth energy. That's your energy. That's that's consistency. And then you got the knight of swords. So this is being clearer of mind. Um, move, Still moving fast. But maybe now you actually have a plan with what you're doing and where you're going. I don't know why I want to say that, but that's what the cards are showing. This page of cups here... Is like, I'm getting like, if you're starting some sort of relationship, you're trying to take things as slow as possible. But then, but then it's funny because it's like the Knight of Swords is fast movement. So you're still kind of like teeter tottering, but I do feel more stable energy from these cards. Um, I don't know if y'all have started meditating or something like that, but I'm definitely feeling you guys being a little bit more grounded this week. Um, and clearer of mind. I don't know if y'all started working out or meditating or doing something because the Knight of Pentacles can sometimes be routine. So I don't know if y'all have gotten into some sort of routine that's been helping y'all out. Y'all are still, though, this is emotional withdrawal. So y'all are still emotionally withdrawn from whatever this situation is, kind of like dipping a toe in emotionally. I'm not seeing full withdrawal. Um, overall just emotionally withdrawn from everything in life but there's one particular situation that you're kind of like dipping a toe in whether it's a project a new creative endeavor you're just like All right, I'm, I'm kind of going slowly into this even though in your brain you might be going fast I don't know it's funny because it's like fast and slow energy <laughs> But the good thing is with this Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Swords here on either side of the reading is that that's balance. You know what I mean? And then in the in the middle is this Page of Cups, which is kind of like, all right, 
I'm 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 not rushing into shit, but I'm also not not moving. If that makes any fucking sense. Take it as it resonates, Taurus. Lord. Lord have mercy. Um oh my god. Justice in reverse. Um, either you're being unfair to somebody or somebody's being unfair to you or just the situation overall with the justice in reverse that's about unfairness um it's just an unfair situation you are in an, a situation that is not um i'm getting like not the easiest not the best not the fairest to anybody involved um the sun card comes out in reverse which is about um not necessarily disappointment, but it's like you're not as happy as you could be. You're happy um, and content and a little bit more grounded, but you're not as happy as you could be. And it's something to do with your emotions. It's like you're not fully investing your emotions into something and that's making you not as happy as you could be. The Two of Cups is in reverse under this Knight of Swords. So there's either some sort of... um separation with somebody or just like you're not talking to somebody really as much as you'd like to be talking to somebody um that could just be disharmony like justice in reverse this this two of um the two of of cups in reverse is just about again like there's still that imbalance but y'all are i think coming into a more balanced place you're getting there Again, dipping your toe into this balanced place, but still needing, still needing work, clearly. There's definitely a situation that, um, emotionally, you're not fully in, but you're not fully out. (laughs) Just take it as it resonates. I don't fucking know, man. That's... With the Ace of Cups in reverse, did I show you all this? Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, With the Ace of Cups in reverse coming out under the Page of Cups, it's like, again, I'm getting a lot of opposites. It's like, the Page of Cups, even in and of itself, is like, we've, we've made the move toward this emotional creative thing, but we're not fully, like, it's not the Knight of Cups. We're not fully romantical about it. And the Queen of Cups is like, I'm fully emotionally invested. King of Cups, even upright, is like, I have control over my own emotions. I don't think yet, I think you're, you're, I think the only part you might be like needing to get control over is your emotions. I feel like your mental clarity is there, your, your physical stability. Um, and that's not just about money. That's a, also about groundedness and stuff like that. That might be there maybe because, again, in the physical, you're working out. You're getting your endorphins going. You're not all over the place. You're learning to kind of take a little bit of a fucking breather, finally, Taurus. But still, emotionally, you're needing to, um, I think, open up a little bit. But not fully. I think maybe there's this feeling, Taurus, of like, if I open up fully, the floodgates are going to open. And I don't want the floodgates to open, so I'm just going to shut down completely emotionally. But what you don't realize is the more you shut down emotionally completely, the um, the more it, the floodgates will, they're not even just going to open. They're going to fucking burst open if you continue to hold shit in. I don't know why I want to say that, but let me, let me pull some more cards before I uh, continue to speak. Ooh, Queen of Cups, spoke too soon. Six of Cups. And the Seven of Wands in reverse. And then the Eight of Pentacles. Y'all are trying to... The Eight of Pentacles is like putting a lot of work in. I feel like whatever this situation is, is taking a lot of work, uh, which is probably why for the last couple of readings, your energy has been literally all over the fucking place. Because it's taken so much out of you, 
you don't know how to get back to balance. The Queen of Cups is getting in touch with your emotions. That's good. We like that. We like that. Um, this is this again could also be some like a uh, uh, um. This is this is Cancer energy. Could be any water sign. Doesn't have to be any sign at all. It doesn't have to be a person. This could be your energy. Just take it as it resonates. It's just like um. I feel like you're you're coming into your own emotions. Like again, like I said, it's very this this is very emotion centered. Um you're needing to balance your emotions is what I want to say. Uh the 6 of cups comes out which could be about family, things from childhood. Um memories good memories fond memories so I don't know if like you're thinking about the past things from the past like oh when you know like or or maybe you're just trying to get back to that place maybe back in the past you were in touch with your emotions you were there you were centered and maybe you're thinking back like how do I get back there how do I get back in touch with my emotional side I've lost touch with it and I do feel as though this seven of wands in reverse, the situation is definitely overwhelming for you. You're overwhelmed. Um, as much as you're meditating and like working out or whatever, you're like overwhelmed. And maybe that might be grounding you for a little bit. But again, it's like there are still things you're needing to face emotionally, possibly from your past that either you haven't yet or you're just starting to but the the vibe I'm getting is like maybe the emotions overwhelm you and that's why you don't want to face them but I got news for you Taurus you have to it's the only way you're going to fully heal fully um feel better I don't know why I want to say that well because I feel like your energy has been like out of whack lately. For some of you, you all are doing this. For some Tauruses, you guys are actually starting to do this work. And maybe that's where the balance is coming from. You know, that you guys are actually starting to face your emotional shit. And it's healing possibly past traumas. It's, you know, it's, it's very overwhelming, I see. But it's healing as well. Listen, I did a root chakra meditation today. 10 minutes. And I bawled my fucking eyes out. Did I expect it? No. The root chakra is all about your sense of worthiness, your family, past traumas, past hurts. It's where you hold, you know how they say you hold your trauma in your hips? Well, that's where the root chakra is. So if, if your hips are hurting or whatever, which mine have been, you know, okay, it's time for me to maybe heal some stuff. So I did. And for 10 minutes, I literally, the tears were pouring down my face and I didn't expect it, but I was so in touch with it. I'm feeling like that's maybe something y'all need to do too. We all do, but specifically you guys, Taurus, sometimes things come to the surface. You didn't even realize we're there. And that's a lot, a lot of times what that six of cups is about. Let me pull some more cards. Mm -hmm. we love to fucking okay lord have mercy oh god here it is knight of wands in reverse see come on now that's been in your readings for the last couple of weeks too it's getting better though i gotta say and you know what <sighs> progress not perfection <laughs> okay uh let's let's name that this N name this that progress not perfection good on you know what let me be encouraging good for you Taurus because you are making progress the last couple of readings y'all have been all over the place like mentally emotionally uh physically all over the place right y'all are starting to kind of get back into routine and maybe that in and of itself is giving you more clarity um clarity on your emotions i don't know if y'all are necessarily in this place yet of have like having felt those emotions 
bubble to the surface, but at the very least, you're recognizing them. That is a good place to be. Um, we have the fool here, which again is a good place to be. You're just like, okay, I'm going to let things happen the way that they're going to happen. There's still some sort of residual thing, though, uh, situation, person, whatever, that you are re resisting letting go of or surrendering to. There's a situation or person you are resisting letting go of. The suspended one in reverse is like, no, like that's like grasping on for dear life um, to a situation that you should not be grasping on to for dear life. Because the universe, the God, whatever you want to call it, has something better for you. And and this better is like, a, again, this fool is this clean slate here, you know, maybe wiping this, the, 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 the past, you know, like finally clearing yourself of all the past shit and starting fresh, you know, like, uh, it's like doing, I'm, I'm just getting this vibe of like doing the emotional clearing so that you can start fresh, but there's a piece of you. And I only feel like it's a piece because I do feel like organically you're going in this direction slowly with that Knight of Pentacles, it's slow moving energy. You're, you're organically going into this direction. But when you stop and think about it, I feel like it does overwhelm you and scare you. And so that's when you kind of start resisting. We don't want to do that because that's when you end up in this energy this knight of pentacle uh knight of wands in reverse energy we don't want that energy that is fucking ridiculous energy that's immaturity that is ego ego energy it can be player type energy that could be um just all over the place we don't want to we don't want to remain there it's okay if you have that every once in a while you get into this place but when you can recognize it with this you know with this ace of swords we need to get to a place where we can recognize when we're being that way come back to center and become the grounded Taurus that we're supposed to be <laughs> instead of being all over the fucking place Taurus um there's nothing worse than an ungrounded earth sign that's like literally setting the ground on fire it ain't pretty and pull three more cards. What does Taurus need to know? Okay. Um, Seven of Pentacles comes out. Again, more Earth energy. There's a need to get more grounded. Yep. Trust your intuition. Um, what you need to know, <laughs> three of pentacles comes out in reverse. Um, well, A, what you need to know is there's a need for you to get more grounded. Be patient with yourself. Uh, be patient with the people around you. Be patient with the situation. The moon is all about paths, choosing paths, using your intuition to choose the best path for you, but also unknowns and uh, can be illusions and you know the moon is very mysterious it can be about mysteries too and I feel as though you are um the two of pentacles did I show you all the cards I'm sorry seven of pentacles here uh the moon card here and then the two of pentacles which is um in reverse which is again not yet making a decision it's definitely some sort of decision or path um i don't it's not like a, to me it's like um a decision is like do i want the red or the blue choosing a path is like it's different it's bigger there's a path that you are still haven't really fully made a decision i think again you're slowly getting to where you need to be slowly but surely we like we like it we like to see progression nonetheless um 
just trust your gut. You're needing to get more in touch with your intuition and be clearer of mind and just take time out for um, you and self-care and planning and feeling better. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that you're investing in the right things, the right people, the right places. You know what I'm saying? If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Um, let me see. I'm not getting indecisive, though. I just see that you haven't physically made the decision yet. I feel like intuitively, in your heart, in your gut, you know what it is you want to do. If there is a decision or a path to choose. Let me see. With these... Oh! That's definitely yours. Uh. Step out of your comfort zone. So whatever it is, it's like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to... That's about fear, you know? Sometimes sometimes your most comfortable place is not the best place for you. If that makes any sense. Just because you're comfortable somewhere doesn't mean... You need to stay there. How, how's that worked out thus far, Taurus? If I did everything that made me comfortable, you wouldn't be—I wouldn't be sitting here in front of this uh, this camera right now. Promise. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. To be honest, I'm feeling like that could have something to do with like maybe a dream that you've had or something like that. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but that's the thought that pops into my head. Why are some of these not? Wow, these are all over the place. All right, doesn't matter. One more. Show the world the re- I'm not getting it. Show the world the real you and then communication is key. So speak there's some sort of truth uh that you're needing to speak, speak up about. Communicate how you're feeling, speak, articulate with that knight of swords again that is about clear thinking, articulation, clear planning, um being be thinking quickly on your feet, that type of thing. But also, communication is key and show the world the real you is, to me, about speaking a truth. Um, saying what's on your mind, how you're feeling. Maybe that's the start of it. It's just being honest with how you feel and where you're at. Um, but good for y'all. Y'all are in a better place. Whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it and do it better. I would say, because you're not fully there, but you're getting there, and we love to see it. Uh, I love you guys very much. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Peace out, everybody.